Yeah, but it's... But it's not every place. How much was it correct? 20 meters? I think it was 20 meters. Right time. You have to look at the surface of the sink. And any idea what will happen if I take the plug out? How water will fall? No? Straight down. Straight down. And I later give you the explanation why. Ready? Look, please. Look at the leaves. Straight. No spinning. Yeah. Follow me to the southern hemisphere. Over there. Later, I tell you why. Let's go back home, guys. Go back. to the north side <laughs> of the world. Then, to explain you, please get back to the clothes and I explain you about it. What's up everybody? Hope you enjoyed that little clip there and got a pretty good idea of the little phenomenon that was going on there. That was from La Mitad del Mundo, the actual one, um, not the fake one. The, the, the fake one is all big and grandiose and is great for tourists and stuff like that, but uh, about 300 meters to the east is the actual equator. Um, so the other one's alive, but the one that I took a video of is um, is the, the real deal. So you can actually see the physics and action of the equator in that particular location. So what you saw um, is the water draining in different locations, whether in the northern hemisphere or the southern hemisphere or right on the equator. So the guide was actually going to give an explanation, but I completely forgot to take a video of the explanation. I got too excited about the physics, so I didn't do it. Um, so I decided to do my own one. So basically what you saw is if the bucket of water is on the equator, it drains straight down. In the northern hemisphere, it'll have a little spiral to it and it'll um, go clockwise. If you go to the southern hemisphere, it'll actually swirl counterclockwise. So when you flush your toilet in the northern hemisphere, go in clockwise. Southern hemisphere, counterclockwise. Why is this? It's because of the physics of the world of rotation. So on the equator, um, because Earth is a sphere, the equator is actually spinning faster than the poles. And because of that, there's a, a slight pull to um, liquids. Liquids generally will have a force exerted on them. If you're in the northern hemisphere, because the world is spinning um, at, at a constant rate, it's continuously spinning, the northern hemisphere has a rotation that pulls the water clockwise because the spinning is actually faster at the center of the earth and slower outside. So those forces together cause the liquid to turn. And in the southern hemisphere, it's the same, except it's in the opposite direction because it wants to move towards the faster, um, the faster rotation of the equator. So I'm not sure if that makes sense, but you can view it in the video. You can view it when you flush your toilet. So check that out. Don't be weirded out by watching your toilet flush. It's all just science. Um, you can also see it on the Weather Channel and stuff like that. So if you ever watch a tropical storm rotating, it all goes through the same effect, and that is the Coriolis effect. So there's a little bit of the science behind it. Hopefully you enjoyed that. Hopefully the explanation made some sense. Um, more than anything, it's just kind of cool to observe it. Some of the other things that you can see when you're at La Mitad del Mundo, like the actual equator, um, you weigh less when you're there. You technically weigh less right on the equator. Um, it's also possible to... Uh, put an egg on the to balance an egg on the head of a nail, which is pretty cool too. Um, super difficult to walk in a straight line along the equator because you have two forces pulling you either way. So it's like a sobriety test that you really can't pass even if you are sober. Um, and you're also significantly weaker on the equator. So if someone were to push down your arms, your arms are going to go straight down, whereas if you were on the north side, south side, you have gravity helping you out a little bit. So it's a little bit different. Um, definitely worth checking out. So if you're in that area, if you're ever visiting Quito and you get the opportunity to go to La Mitad del Mundo, don't think that you can 
get a, get by with just the the normal big um, equator kind of uh, monument. It's cool and all, but you can also go just 300 meters to the east and pay a little bit for a tour guide and, and learn a little bit more about the area and also see some really cool sciencey stuff. And sciencey stuff is the bomb.com. Uh, so hopefully you enjoyed that and enjoy the rest of this clip. <laughs> Turkish gas workers, so a lot of them um, open shops in Germany. Go Wildcats! That's a long way down. No, this was a combo. Because you always catch me when I'm filming. Hola mi gente, como estan? Hope y'all enjoyed this video. Um, leave a thumbs up, like if you enjoyed it. And if you want some more content, hit subscribe. Feel free to share this around on Facebook, Twitter, whatever you want to do. I really appreciate it. You want to send it in the link to somebody in an email, that'd be super dandy. It's cool to keep up with everybody. Um, leave a comment down below if you enjoyed it, if you disliked it. If you have any suggestions especially, because I'm trying to cater my content a little bit more to what you all want to see, what you all want to hear, what you all want to read, because I don't have a ton of time to crank out some uh, content, unfortunately, with classes and all that stuff, but luckily I just got done with a little bit of busy work that was going to take up some time, so hopefully I have a little bit more time to update the blog. So um, like, subscribe, comment, check out the link down below for the blog that I do. Uh, you can read a little bit about the adventures I've had in the past and be on the lookout for some of the more adventures some more of the adventures. Um, it's going to be a little bit better English than I have right now, so read it, type it, leave some comment, do that stuff, do that thing that you do. I uh, hope you all are having great adventures on your own, and I will see you in the next video, the next blog, the next writing thingy. Whatever it is, have a great day. I love you. I do. Bye.